Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another doll unboxing video. As you can see, today we're going to be taking a look at a Nana Not Fuzzy Surprise doll. This is like my second Nana Not video in a very short time span and that isn't intentional. Um, this is actually not a doll that I expected to be unboxing and that's because this is another doll that you guys sent to me, or I should say one of you guys sent to me. I won't be mentioning names because the person who sent this hasn't reached out to me in any way to let me know that they're okay with me using their name. So just like in an effort to protect their privacy, I don't want to do that to them. If you want to, you know, shout out in the comments down below and claim it for yourself, that's totally fine. If you want to make your name known, that's good. But yeah, I don't want to like invade your privacy at all. But huge, huge thank you to the person who bought this off of my Amazon wish list. It absolutely made my day for it to show up at my door. And so yeah, I had to make a video on it. So even though we did just do a video on the Nanana minis, now it is time to take a look at the fuzzy reveal Nanana doll. And I'm very interested and also like a little bit nervous for this one. I've been saying since these were announced that they're ones that I'm very curious about, but I was hesitant to pay full price for them because I feel like this could go either way. So again, big thank you to the person who <laughs> sent her to me so that I can review her. Um, yeah, so I'm anxious because they are fuzzy. They have like a fuzzy thing on them that you have to peel off all over the doll and I think all over the clothing too. And I've heard some iffy things. Generally speaking, when I know I'm going to be reviewing a doll, I try to avoid watching like long form content of the doll because like I want my video to be all of my opinions and I don't want it to be super influenced by what other people have said. But it's hard to miss entirely, especially with stuff like TikTok. It's hard to miss completely what people are saying about these dolls. So I know that some people have been less than thrilled with how these are executed, which makes me even more curious to see how I will feel about them. So I'm really bad about <laughs> actually knowing not enough surprise dolls names, but the one that I got is actually coincidentally the one that is featured on the front here. The front of the packaging, this is actually fuzzy, which I didn't know and which I think is pretty fun. But yeah, so it is this purple cat themed doll. She's my favorite from the lineup. So like, She's the one that I wanted to give a chance to. And I'm just really excited to be able to look at this and kind of form my own opinion and let y'all know whether I think these are as bad as the things I've been hearing or whether they're like a little bit better. So yeah, it's just a very interesting one to be getting into today. If you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that's super helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and take the outside packaging off and then we'll work on the peeling together on camera because like obviously you guys have to see how the peeling works and I'll unbox like the clothing on camera. I just want to get the big bit of plastic out of the way so give me just one moment. Okay unboxing process has begun as with pretty much all of the Nana Na toys. There is a little guide here with the different dolls available in this line and this also tells me that her name is Catty Cat which is definitely a choice. Um not the most creative, but like, that's okay. She's gonna be cute. I do think some of the other dolls are nice. Like I think Jenny Jaguar is probably my second favorite, but I don't know if we're gonna end up buying any more, obviously, cause I don't know how this review is gonna go just yet, but this is super handy to like know which ones are in there. And then also the symbols by the names tell you which symbol to look for. So if you're buying these in person, you can use those symbols like that correspond to the symbol on the outside of the packaging up here to figure out which one you are buying, which is always good. Also, the not enough plastic packaging, it's so sharp. I definitely hurt myself a little bit on packaging it because it's just, it's so much. <laughs> but we're not talking about the packaging, at least not that packaging, we're talking about this packaging. Of course, first I have to talk about the doll herself. So the not enough dolls are plastic now, which is very different. They used to be all fabric. And this is the first time that they're doing like a bigger size doll in plastic. The minis are plastic, but this is like a regular not enough size and in plastic. She does have head articulation that I can see right now. Not really like tilting, but just rotational. Can't really get to the other. I guess I can kind of get to the other articulation. You can see her fur splitting there. <laughs> so yeah, she's just got the same old. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can get her legs. I can't get her legs yet. They have the same old not -na, na articulation. She does have a fully rooted head of hair, which is super cool. And the face I do think looks better in person. I feel like in some stock photos, the face does look a little strange just because it is scaled, I think, a bit differently than the fabric dolls were. But definitely looks better, at least to me in person, than it did um, in like stock photos. So that's nice to know. The hair is very soft. It's a bit sparsely rooted. Like there's definitely 
some pretty big spots that just don't have any hair plugs. She does come with a hat. Um, so for me, that'll be fine because I'll be displaying her with the hat on. But if you don't like the hats, that is something to note that the hair does seem, at least on mine, kind of thin. I'm trying to think about, oh, I almost forgot I had to mention. I don't think this is the first time Nanana has done this. Um, but the skin tone on the artwork and then on the doll and even the hair color on the artwork and the doll don't quite match up. I do wonder if this is an issue with like the printing, like if the original drawing was this color and it just got printed darker or if it was a change in design, I have no idea. You know, I don't think it's super. I do think it's like a tad bit unprofessional to not have the art on your final product match the doll but there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start trying to peel. Like I have all of her accessories that I want to get to, but I want to see how hard it is to peel. I will say that when these dolls were first announced, I thought that the flocking itself was really cute. And I was like, low key, I might want to keep the doll like this. Touching it though, it's not very soft. So I'm much less inclined to do that just because it's not like, it's a very soft faux fur sort of feeling. Like it's, it's not rough but it's not as soft as I was hoping which at least for me eliminates the question of do I want to peel it or do I want to keep it and we're peeling at least we're trying to okay definitely moving her arm up and getting that bit of like flocking to break off helped start so there's one piece off oh but now it's getting a little more difficult I wonder hmm Oh gosh. I also have carpal tunnel. This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm barely getting anything. Like every once in a while I'll get a decent little chunk. But oh that's that's pretty tough. Okay, I I think I'm gonna pause on that just because I do think if I do it too long, my hands might start hurting. And I wanna be able to look at all the clothing first and see like what that looks like and if the flocking's any different on that just because i kind of want to know what my game plan is going to be here uh so first bag oh okay first bag is her hat here and this does also have flocking on it you can tell because it's like much more readily peeling because this is like a soft plastic that it's on it's funny though because i think from a distance depending on how neat the flocking is it kind of looks like it would just go on her since not and dolls historically have had fuzzy hats but oh yeah see that's so much easier on that that's actually really satisfying is that a paint miss or is that leftover flocking I think that might just be leftover, not flocking itself, but like whatever glue they use to put it in. The instructions did say that you're gonna have to wash the stuff off with warm water or like a washcloth that's damp. So that's a bit of work. This is actually so satisfying though. Oh my gosh, at least the hat. The doll was much more difficult, but this, this feels good. <laughs> oh, just like these big bits. Okay, so that's like the vast majority of the hat done. There's a couple little bits here and there that I need to definitely wash it off to get it off. But that was that was fine. And I guess we could actually look at the hat. I just put it down. I'm like, I'm ready to move on to the next piece. <laughs> but it is cute. It's like a cat hat. And I don't know what these are called, but it almost looks like it's knitted or it's, you know, obviously plastic, but it's designed to look like it's knitted. It's quite cute, and that was so much easier. Okay, I'm feeling better now. Let's move on to the next bag. Okay, so this one is going to be her glasses that I hesitate to call glasses because they definitely aren't, like, the ones that you can see through. Once I get the flocking off, you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's see how easy or hard these are. They're kind of thin, so that makes it slightly more difficult, but still much easier than the body, I feel like. I don't know if the body is a different kind of plastic and maybe that's part of the problem. Eh, definitely not as easy as the hat. I think the flexible plastic that's closer to a rubber material is way easier to get the flocking off of. 
Oh, but if you have nails, you can kind of like dig under it and push like that. That was a pretty big piece. I don't mean to like make you guys just sit here and watch me peel this, but also I feel like it's good to document at least as much as possible as long as my hands don't start hurting so that you know how hard or not hard it really is. I'm going to stop on these though because these are a little bit more difficult again. So let's open up another piece of clothing. Okay, so these are the shoes. Obviously, they're just looking fuzzy right now. So are these terrible? That felt like a pretty solid start. Is it flocked on the inside? Or I, I think some glue has just like leaked onto the inside. I don't think it's supposed to be anything on the inside. I, I feel like I've got a good start. I want to just get a, a nice piece off though. <laughs> Ow, that one hurt. Like since they squish, the ones that squish, that was probably like halfway out of focus the entire time. I didn't even think about that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, though, the ones that squish are a little easier because you can kind of squish the plastic and get the flocking to peel up. And that's not so bad. But then like when it gets to the bottom of her shoe, it's less squishy. And it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's open up the last bag just to see where we're at. So this is going to be her dress once I get it all out of its casing. There's a lot of plastic. I said this in my Nana -na Minis video that for a while Nana -na wasn't a surprise brand. Like they had clear plastic on the box so you could see what you were getting. And so therefore there was less waste with that. Um, and other brands like LOL that do surprise gimmicks have moved towards like paper or cardboard instead of the plastic bags. LOL has gone fully back to the plastic bags. And also there's a lot of flocking that's going to be coming off here. So that is kind of rough to see. You know, it, it's kind of weird because it does feel like a step back for the brand. But everything Nana -na -na does is very confusing. <laughs> so here's her dress fully flocked. I'm going to try to just like... Mm -mm. I was seeing if I bent it. Oh, that was a good one. Right off the bat, that was a good one. Oh, don't let that be the only good part. Come on. I want some of this to be like satisfying to watch and satisfying to do. I feel like it shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> Oh, okay, here's gonna be a good piece. Oh, that was a great piece. Oh my gosh. And we're back to struggling immediately. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's a bow. I was sitting here trying to like pull that bit off, but that's supposed to stay on there. My bad. Oh, this one feels kind of good. Wow, yeah, this is rough. Oh my goodness. I want to get this one all off in like one go. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Oh, I was really hoping I'd just get the whole thing. We're <laughs> making some progress, but it really is so difficult. And it leaves behind so much residue. Like even the portions that I've gotten, the glue just comes up and can't see. I have a whole pile and there's just like dust collecting. This is going to take a while, I think. Um, this is not going to be the super speedy process that I was hoping it would be. Like I said, I'd heard some rough things. I didn't necessarily think it would be like the smoothest. But this is a lot harder than I expected, except for the hat. The hat was like weirdly easy to do, but everything else is really giving me some trouble. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera just so that you guys aren't sitting here for 40 minutes watching me do this. Um, and I will reconvene very shortly. Okay. It is literally the next day because of how long it took me to get her clean. She is mostly clean at this point. There was a little bit of residue around her neck that I just could not manage to get off. She's literally still wet because I just finished doing this. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit that I just couldn't get off, but 
clearly I've been working at this for a while. And at this point, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. And I'm just going to be okay with that. All of her clothing pieces are done and ready. So we'll get those on her in a second. I tried picking it off like I picked off this stuff and just doing it, you know, dry. It was taking forever. It was very difficult. I couldn't get a lot of it off. So I thought I would try soaking her in water and I did try scrubbing at it with a washcloth with water and soap that didn't really do anything soaking her in water did like loosen the glue mostly it removed some of the flocking itself but the glue residue still really wasn't peeling off at all what ended up working for me was having her soaking in the warm water for quite a while and I also soaked like all of her little pieces in the water for quite a while. And then I took them out and let them dry overnight, hence it being the next day. <laughs> and then I was able to get the flocking off with relative ease. Like some pieces like this piece of flocking came off literally as like an entire sock, which was awesome. There definitely was still a ton of residue on the doll and on all of her pieces. And I had to scrub at that with a sponge to get it to come off. So, this was so much work, <laughs> so much work. I do have some positive thoughts though, shockingly. So let's go ahead and start getting her dressed. Obviously we went over like the doll herself. Her little dress has been revealed to be this cute, almost like coat dress sort of number with the plaid and the fur. The clothing is also plastic. So basically these are just like the Nanana minis except scaled up a little bit now. I actually did a whole video before um, this was sent to me about just my feelings about how Nana Na is changing and the idea of going to plastic bodies and plastic clothing. So I won't really like get into that too deeply here. I do think it's strange. Obviously, I'm not in their marketing department. So like, I don't know why they chose to do this. But to me, the thing that set Nana Na Surprise apart was the fact that they were fabric dolls. And you know, they had fabric clothing, but that's more commonly seen in fashion dolls. So I do think that they kind of got rid of what was unique to them. And I do think that maintaining the $25 price point with all plastic clothing is a little bit weird. But like I said, I have a whole video on that. <laughs> Aside from the fact that it is all plastic, I think this is super, super cute. There sadly are a few points like right here where because I was scrubbing so hard to try to get the glue off, little bits of paint did come off. But overall, it looks okay. I... You know, I would like to hope that maybe you guys would have better luck than I did with that and it would be easier for you. But it does just like split up the back so you can kind of just slide it onto her, which is like such a funny way to dress a doll. It is kind of satisfying because it's so like one and done though. I say that, but I'm struggling a bit. There we go. And it does look so cute. Like that looks good. <laughs> Just took a lot of effort to get here. Uh, then her boots do match. So we've got more of that plaid pattern and little gold cats on the top. I will say the paint job is very nice under here. <laughs> like once you get to them, I feel like they look good. I guess there's like a little weird printing on this one. But yeah, it's it's really just the process was so much. But like, that's adorable. And then we just have the couple of accessories. So you did see the hat before. The hat was like the one piece that was pretty easy to <laughs> get done. And I mean, it's cute. And then we have these gnaw glasses that almost can't be called glasses because she obviously can't see through them. They are ridiculous. And I kind of like them for that. Like, it's just so silly. It's obviously not practical. But it's kind of funny to me. I don't know. I feel like some people definitely won't like that. And I completely understand why. Something about this is just extremely amusing to me. <laughs> so that brings us to final thoughts. Uh, I understand why there has been some negativity surrounding these because the peel off bit is just it's way too difficult to do. This was so stress inducing and so frustrating However, I will say that I think if they could change, I don't know if they need to change the glue or what would need to be done. If they can change the materials used so that it peels off easier, I actually think it would be so, so satisfying. Like the moments where I could get a whole boot off or when I did her hat and that was super easy. 
that was so satisfying to do. Like it felt really just appealing. So I do think that it could be a fun aspect of like a reveal, whether that's kids who are like properly playing with it to get to the reveal or even just adults who kind of like the peeling sensation. I do think that it's not a bad idea. I just think the execution was really, really poorly done. So it's kind of rough because I, I feel like with how bad this was, we might not get a fuzzy reveal series too. And like, I understand that because it was very frustrating. But at the same time, I do think if they used a different glue or like maybe a liquid latex or something like that, that would peel off better. It is a fun idea to me. I don't know though. I don't know how they would be able to do that on like a mass marketing scale. I don't know how much that would cost for them to be able to do. So I don't really even know if that's a viable thing to do. But I just want to give them, I guess, a little bit of credit because the moments where the peeling was going okay were obscenely satisfying. Like they were so good. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the na -na -na surprise fuzzy reveal doll. Obviously my least favorite thing was having to peel off all of this. It was just a lot. Um, other than that though, I do think she's really cute. Like I'm happy that I have her now and to the person who bought her for me, I'm sorry that this was like a bit more of a negative review in the sense that I did struggle with it a lot. And there was a very big negative aspect, but I'm still really happy I have the doll like i still think she's beautiful i'm excited to be able to add her to my shelf so this is good <laughs> like i'm okay with this i think that this needs some work and the price needs some work but the actual doll i do think is pretty solid so i would love to hear your guys's thoughts on this doll in the comments down below if you have also bought one of these fuzzy reveal dolls did you have just as much trouble and do you have any tips and tricks for getting this off because like surely the best way cannot possibly be having to soak her in water and then let it re-dry. Like that can't be the best method, <laughs> but that's what worked for me. So if you have any tips and tricks, definitely let everyone know in the comments. But yeah, that is it for today. I do have, as always, um, linked in my description, my Amazon wish list, and then my Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to support me in other ways, you can check those things out. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>